Why? Why does God allow bad things to happen? Why doesn't God do something about the situation? Why? I think that many people have been asking questions like these over the last weeks, and indeed for longer. So if you've been asking yourselves questions like this, you're certainly not alone. You probably won't be surprised to hear that there have been books written about the subject, so obviously I'm not going to be giving you a definitive answer in a short thought. But maybe I can give you some things to think about. Romans chapter 8 verse 28 has come up several times in the last few weeks. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him. And we can see good things happening. Less pollution, a reduction in global warming, a better sense of community, more people listening to church services online than used to attend when we met in buildings. These are all good things. And they show how God can use the situation for good, but they don't answer the question. Why did he allow it? How about free will? God has chosen to give us free will. And if that means anything, it must mean the ability to choose to do things that he doesn't want us to do. And of course, since he wants what's best for us, that must mean that people suffer. But again, that says what's happening, but not why he allows it. If you look at the book of Job, it starts with bad things happening to him. He loses his entire family, and more in one day. The majority of the book then consists of friends giving him various bits of bad advice. But Job just wants to know why God allowed it. The book ends with God speaking to Job out of a whirlwind but he doesn't answer Job's question. Instead, he asks Job a series of questions about the universe. Job can't answer them. And he accepts that God knows far more than he does. And that's the point. God is God, and we're not. God's often been painted as a big, bearded man in the clouds, but that's God being painted in man's image. Or maybe we think of him as a bit like a superhero from a film or a book. But again, that's God being described as being in our image. It's us who are made in his image. But he's far more than just a person with superpowers. God knows everything. God knows everyone. We can't possibly hope to understand everything that has gone into his decisions. Yes. We can guess at some of the things that might be involved, but there's no way we can possibly weigh up all the factors that have gone into his decision to allow the pandemic. But we do know this. God loves us. That means that in the light of eternity, somehow allowing the current situation is better than all the possible alternatives. So, rather than asking why he allows it, Let's instead thank him that he is bringing good out of the situation, and let's ask him what he wants us to do to help.